Hi folks, uh, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks for joining me again from the Watercolour Demo. This time a riverside scene with our little fisherman here trying to get his catch for the day. Um, quick plug of my book. Watercolour painting made simple, available on Amazon. Details in the description below. If anyone's been kind enough to buy it, if you could just, if you haven't done so already, just uh, give me a quick review on Amazon, which will help me out. Um, so that's on there. If you want fancy a bit of, bit of that, so um, let me show you the materials first before I start the painting. So I've got the same palette as always. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. I'm using the uh, large on rancid eight brush. The only other brushes I use for this one with the number three rig at and then the, this the small little rig out. I don't know what number that is, it's a zero or a one. So I'm not putting too much water on. Just enough to stop it from giving all crinkly basically. So I'm not, I'm not going for a massive sky. You can just about see a little bit of... In fact now I'm not even going to put the blue in. I'm just going to go straight to the greens. I'm just going to go green. Let's just start with that first. Start with some lights. Put some ultramarine in there. And that is, I'm just preserving the sort of central area. Just a touch more water. Might have done that a little bit too dry. Get this in a bit more dark. Let's get back to a light, light coloured green. I don't know how well this is going to stand there, but coming down to a right, about a third of the way off the horizon line. Just popping these lights in first. Just adding a little bit of, a little bit of that light sky. I'm just about to see, by the time all the, the branches and things are in. In fact, I must remember. If you pull those reflections down while you're doing it, which I almost forgot then. Really a lot of this won't be seen anyway. It's going to be behind all the uh, trees and foreground stuff. See if I can get a few, a few trunks and things in. Just a few subtle little trees in the distance. A lot of this will probably soften off. Don't forget to pull down the reflections at the same time. A few more in. And then scrape a few in. Things that burnt umber. A few darker, maybe a darker one. Showing up a little bit better. Bit of land on that side, so I don't think that will show up anyway. The reflections. Comes to putting them sort of separately, um, sort of trying to get them randomly spaced. I always sort of automatically put them equal spacing, it just doesn't look right. I'm just going to put another one that's uh, gone really dark that way, I think. Leave that for now, see how it turns out. So, get a touch of ultramarine on there as well, just scraping a few little things in. 
von Irre. Just a touch, just dark and slightly in places, a little bit more than I meant to do there, but not so worried. I'm sort of flicking off. Just using the corner of the brush. Let's just pull this paper tight a little bit. Flat against the wood. Right now, I'm going to go for some bigger, bigger trunks. Now, I've switched to the, the number three rigger brush, so I'm coming a little bit further forward. See, they're going on much stronger now, not bigger, so further forward. Let's get those a little bit darker. Gone, the, the, oh, sweet. This one's turning to full ground, one, I think. I've done it way too big. Um, let's get some reflection down there as well while I mess about with it. I'm going to do one slightly further back, that one's a lot thinner. A bit of foliage on these ones as well in a minute. Just get the skeletons in. Should go the other way. Like I was just saying, don't want them all evenly spaced. See, like I've just done it again. I keep putting them evenly spaced for some reason. Just put one in there just to mess that up. Side, so I'm going off one in that direction. Bit of brown, bit of blue, stick another one up there. Some down there. A little bit of foliage on there, just see what it looks like. So I'm just drawing the brush, just squeezing the water out, thumb and forefinger, straight into the water jar, scuffing up on the detail like that. And I'm going to go a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of foliage on there, a bit of ultramarine as well. Differentiate it from all this background stuff. Reflections. I'll paint over some there in a minute anyway. And that with a foreground, man, right in the foreground. Right, let's put some landing. So, I'm just going to take a bit of lemon yellow. It's sort, of, it's sort of coming up there like that, something like that. up a little bit more. Slap more water, the brush is a little bit dry. Yeah, it's come down there, something like a bit of light reading there as well, really, just to liven it up a little bit. Flick, flick, flick into the ultramarine. Just change it slightly. More water, get a bit dry. Try to get a chisel edge 
Just brown, a bit of blue. Clean the brush, then get back to a lighter colour. So again, just squeeze the water out without quite. Do what I'm going to do. And take some of that lemon yellow, squeeze it out so I've got some fresh paint to work with. I like getting a few like dollops, a few dollops here and there. So I just took neat, neat yellow, just give over some of this and mix it together. Let's move over to the other side, take some out of the mini see how that works. Now this is a little bit closer, so I'm going to be a bit darker that door. I'm just going blue and then just dabbing that lemon yellow in there like that, and then bringing it down, something like that. A bit of brown in there as well, and blue. These are all darks anyway, all shadowy area around there. Bit of red. There and there. I should save these right for the end and I'll put the shadows in. So I know what I'm working with. I'll put that down. Some dark sections down there. This is a river bank just down there. So it's, it's nice and dark. It's uh that in, paint over what I don't like, blend in a little bit, just make it a little bit more subtle, something like that. Right in, back to the rigger brush, bit of brown, bit of blue, just almost picking a few little things growing away there. A few reflections scattered about. Right, a big tree now, or a big tree there. So I'm going to bother cleaning the brush because I want to get dark. So a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Also, big trees on the right as well, coming into the foreground now. On some monsters. So the first one I want, I want a big one. Something like that, you know, there, make it bigger, wider. The branch coming there, like that. Bit more water, a bit more brown, a bit more blue. Another, another tree, just to the left of it. To the rigger brush. A few little twigs and things coming away from it. Bit. 
the needles coming up that one behind it, just to the left. You can come in from the top, just out of shot. I might just try. I'm going to just get like some light effect by just lightening that slightly. So all I'm doing is using a clean brush, just lightening. So it just looks as if the light just catching, just catching the side of it down there at the bottom. I'm also going to do that a little bit further up. Light's catching up here as well. Let's just lighten that area by just removing some of that paint by using a clean damp brush. Give it like sort of three dimensional look. Right, where am I? Um, I need something on the right hand side. So um, I'll, I'll use the. Actually, let's get some foliage on this one first. Let's get into that lemon yellow. A bit of light ultramarine on it. A bit of lemon yellow. Always looks good, you know, just, just take some neat paint, just pop it on some dark area like that in there. Something that's going down there. Right now, I need something on this right hand side, but for that I'm going to switch to the rigger brush. I'm going to do it with the rigger brush. I think I do look a little bit more natural when I do them with the rigger. Straight up there like that. Something like that way. There's another one going up there like that. Popping these limbs on. Wide now a little bit. I'll bring some down there from the top as well. A bigger branch coming up there. Again, it's Some yellow in there. Put them on my branches. Go down the base as well. Right. Let's get this flat. In fact, while it's still down. Big rock in there, couldn't resist it. Let's make this a little bit bigger. It's just base is too narrow. Sure, this is flat against the board before I go any further. Let's give that slow, quick dry. I'm going to put 
some shadowy areas in there so I'm just clean the brush a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue a kind of sort of bluey grey colour Right then. The shadows. Just want to blend that in a bit. Dark and some of these areas. Get some of that, get some highlights on there. So I'm going to get a dry brush. Just get a fairly dry brush. And then just dip it in the Very tips in the paint. Just in there. Then you need to overdo it, like I'm, I'm doing a bit too. I'm putting too much in there. Before I get too mad, what I want to do little sort of details in there. I don't think I've done a very good job of that. I would have helped if I'd cleaned, if I'd dried this paint. Thank you. 
impression of someone just casting. Not quite sure. I think I'm going to call that one done. Thank you. I'm just going to sign it just there. Right, let's stick a, a mount on this thing and see what it looks like. So there's the finished paint in the mount. So if you have a closer look. First thing that strikes, I think I just overdid the foreground a little bit. I've sort of darkened it too much and lost all the little variations and little sort of differences in there. But starting up here in the sky, you can just see little bits of light colours there in the sky, sort of reflected down into the water below. Trees on the far banks, predominantly lemon yellow, a little bit of ultramarine um, mixed in amongst them, and then little bits of rigor work. You just about to see some tree trunks there reflected into the water below. Then we've got these two banks here, starting with this one slightly further away where we've got our fisherman there, just, just casting his rod into the water looking for a catch. You see some big dollops of uh, neat paint there amongst, in amongst the other colours. A bit of scrapes there with the car just to suggest a few little rocks here and there. Then we've got these two trees sort of growing out of the ground and then lots of uh, neat lemon yellow then just to suggest all the foliage there on the branches. This bank on the left hand side again you can see the darks that I put a few of the light lemon yellow touches amongst all the darks and then we got again a few rock scrapings of the uh, cards just a few rocks here and there. I painted over where I thought I'd gone a bit too over the top and then big tree coming out of this side you can see where I've lightened it, just used a, a clean damp rigger brush just to suggest light, sort of catching the side of it with the other side in shadow. And then got our little birds there flying along the river. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoyed that. This will be in my eBay shop as always, all the paintings go straight in there. Remember books on Amazon if you uh, want to have a peruse of that. And so as always, thanks for watching, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll see you again soon.